The main purpose of this video is to answer the following questions. How can your cat get rabies? What are the clinical signs of rabies in cats? How is rabies diagnosed in cats? How is rabies treated? How can you prevent your cat from getting rabies? What you should do if your cat is in contact with a rabid animal? What you should do if you have been bitten by a rabid animal? Rabies is a viral disease that affects the brain and spinal cord of all mammals, including cats, dogs and humans. This preventable disease has been reported in every state except Hawaii, and annually causes the deaths of more than 50,000 humans and millions of animals worldwide. There's a good reason that the very word rabies evokes fear in people once symptoms appear, rabies is close to 100% fatal, there are several reported routes of transmission of the rabies virus. Rabies is most often transmitted through a bite from an infected animal. Less frequently, it can be passed on when the saliva of an infected animal enters another animal's body through mucous membranes or an open, fresh wound. The risk for contracting rabies runs highest if your cat is exposed to wild animals. Outbreaks can occur in populations of wild animals, most often raccoons, bats, skunks and foxes, or in areas where there are significant numbers of unvaccinated, free-roaming dogs and cats. In the United States, rabies is reported in cats more than in any domestic species. Animals will not show signs immediately following exposure to a rabid animal. Symptoms can be varied and can take months to develop. Classic signs of rabies in cats are changes in behavior, including aggression, restlessness and lethargy. Increased vocalization. Loss of appetite. Weakness. Disorientation. Paralysis. Seizures. And even sudden death. Unvaccinated cats who are allowed to roam outdoors are at the highest risk for rabies infection. Outdoor cats may, in the course of daily life, get into a fight with an infected wild animal or an infected stray dog or cat. And although widespread vaccination programs have helped to control rabies in dogs, feral cat populations remain a reservoir host for the rabies virus. There is no accurate test to diagnose rabies in live animals. The direct fluorescent antibody test is the most accurate test for diagnosis, but it can only be performed after the death of the animal. The rabies virus can incubate in a cat's body anywhere from just one week to more than a year before becoming active. When the virus does become active, symptoms appear quickly. There is no treatment or cure for rabies once symptoms appear. The disease results in fatality. Vaccination is the key and in most areas of the United States of North America, it's the law. All companion felines should be kept regularly vaccinated by a veterinarian with a licensed rabies vaccine. You'll need to discuss the revaccination schedule with your veterinarian, as it will depend on local or state laws and the duration of the vaccine's immunity. Vaccinating your cat doesn't just protect her from rabies it also protects your cat if she bites someone. Some local ordinances require lengthy quarantines or euthanasia of pets who have bitten someone if the owner does not have proof of current vaccination. To further reduce the chances of your cat becoming infected with the rabies virus, the veterinary channel recommends keeping your pet indoors. What you should do if you think your cat has been in contact with a rabid animal? Put on some gloves to protect yourself from infection, and call your veterinarian for an immediate appointment. You'll also need to contact local animal control officers if the animal who bit your pet is still at large, they will be best able to safely apprehend and remove the animal from the environment. A cat who is up to date with his vaccinations and who has been bitten by a possibly rabid animal should also be given a rabies booster vaccine immediately and kept under observation for 45 days. If you think you had been bitten by a rabid animal, see your doctor immediately. You may need to get a series of injections. Do not attempt to handle or capture a wild animal who is acting strangely, for example a nocturnal animal who is out during the day, or an animal who acts unusually tame. Report the animal to local animal control officers as soon as possible. For more information about this important zoonotic disease please contact your local veterinarian. Subscribe to the veterinary channel for more informative videos. This video was produced by the Veterinary Channel. The topic of this video is rabies in cats. We hope that after watching this video you can identify the signs of a rabid cat. 
Understanding rabies in cats is very important to protect our families. One of the signs of a rabid cat is changes in behavior. Rabies signs in cats also include paralysis. The rabies symptoms in cats vary depending on the disease stage. Sudden death is one of the clinical signs in cats. A cat with rabies represents a dangerous situation for your family. Rabies infected cats are usually kept outdoors. One of the rabies in cat symptoms is aggression. The rabies in cat signs needs evaluation by a veterinarian. The rabies virus in cats can be prevented by routine vaccinations. The symptoms of rabies in cats can be confused with other disease processes. A rabid cat represents a danger to the community in general. Feline rabies is a zoonotic disease. Rabies in cats is a preventable disease. The routes of transmission of the rabies virus includes bites and exposure to saliva. The classic signs of rabies in cats includes changes in behavior, lethargy and anorexia. Unvaccinated cats are at the highest risk for rabies infection. A feral cat can be the reservoir host for the rabies virus. There is no test to diagnose rabies in live animals. The direct fluorescent antibody test is the accurate test for diagnosis of rabies in cats. There is no treatment for rabies in cats. Your veterinarian can recommend the most appropriate revaccination schedule using a licensed rabies vaccine. A rabies booster vaccine is recommended one year after the first dose of receiving a licensed rabies vaccine. If you see a wild animal acting strangely you should contact the local animal control officers. If your cat is bitten by a wild animal acting strangely, the local animal control officers should discuss with you the protocols for quarantine and euthanasia.